Tank Blizzard said it's a little finger. Hey, I've got an interesting game here, and I recently asked you a question in my store review. Are you playing as much now as you did in the past two or three months? And the outstanding response was that no, most people are not playing as much. I think there's a lot of fatigue and a lot of frustration with the battles. And I know that the, one of the reasons I love this game is because it is um, a game based around skill but I have to keep reminding myself that in essence this is a free to play game that can be picked up by anybody of any age of any skill level and chances are they're going to be in your battle um, so for me right now that's just taking a little step back and not playing quite as much but in this video I want to talk about some decisions that I made in this game uh, that I think turned a potential loss into an ace mastery game and as you can see I've called for help on the left side I've got one tank to my left and the MT uh, to my right and because I don't know where the rest of their team are I am gonna be very slow uh, to peek over the top of this ridge line and you'll see why here in a second um, there is no point in trading shots at 6 minutes and 30 into the game. So if we just jump into the perspective mode, you can see they've got four tanks down below. There's the VK in the water, and then there are three other light and medium tank uh, down below. So I could have peeked over there and easily taken three shots. There's our MT. Okay, and this is what I'm talking about, about skill level. He is going to rush in and die quickly. There's their ARL, and their TD is still not spotted. However, look at our heavies. Uh, we've got the Tiger and the VK and the SU-100Y and the Churchill all the way back here. There's no way that they can be of any help to me at my current location. So basically I only have that um, M4 to my left as support. Um, and you'll see here, looking at the minimap, you should be able to gather all of that information just looking at that little mini map mt is calling for help as he rushes through four tanks and dies in the first minute of this game um so i know my m4 and i are on a four on two situation potentially five on two situation um and so my decision and the biggest decision i think that i made was to push on this uh, Nash Warren over here. Um, not much I could do about the ARL dropping down below. Uh, and part of the reason is I run the LTTB um, with the top gun with the least amount of gun depression. So I have to be very aware that I don't have quite the same gun depression in this tank. So shooting downhill is, is not um, that easy for me. But as you can see, we've got the Nash Horn now in the crosshairs between the Churchill and myself. Nothing he can do now. Um, and this Churchill is just going to go and sit and cap for this entire game. So we've lost the MT to a YOLO, and I've got a guy sitting in cap. So my decision there to get rid of the Nash Horn then allows me to come back to the middle of the map and get a little bit of damage in and hopefully slow down this team's ability to get back and stop cap. Now they're going to take out the tiger here and we're going to be down two tanks at the moment. The VK slowly making his way around. Uh, not sure how he got so far out of place there. Um, but we get ahead and finish off the T-34-85 for our first kill. Cap is at 70, so I know that they're going to be rushing into the cap, right? They've got to reset it. Um, and so I'm just going to focus here for a second on the AMX. And I am trying to stay away from the group of tanks as much as possible. VK, with 91 seconds, gets into cap but now he is in the middle of the crosshairs again of the Churchill and myself going to use my speed here to get on through this area so that that M6 and um, the Comet cannot shoot me getting kill number three 
pulling forward here, I'm going to trade shots with the Comet. I'm okay with that at this point in the game because that's going to give us a two-on-one advantage. And now it should be a very easy victory. And as you can see, we've done 2,300 damage. Um, and that in and of itself really is the main reason I just love LTTB. Whenever I'm having a bad um, run of wins, I'll always pull this tank out. Um, just because it is so versatile. Now, the M6 was looking at me, so I'm staying here a very long time, even after my camo is reset. The M6 was proximity spotted there by the VK, and he is now distracted by the VK, which allows me to, this time, use my adrenaline, adrenaline properly and get several shots into him. As soon as he looks at me, I back away, knowing that he's going to go back to the VK and then we finish him off and um, so just that split second decision that I picked up from looking at that mini map um, really put me into a position where I could take away their quote unquote flankers that Nash Horn the ARL pushed him towards the other team the rest of their team and then allowed me to stay on the safe side and not get squeezed by all of their tanks coming in together so um, yeah, I know this game can be frustrating at times, um, but I'm trying to stay positive, trying to focus on, um, you know, the good things, the positive decision makings and help you guys win more games. So with that, uh, get educated, not fingered, a <laughs> little finger out.